What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Life is Strange. Wow! This door conveniently leads right to the junkyard. Dang, girl. Just kidding. Anyway. I don't know why we're freaking out so much. Obviously, this happened a long-ass time ago, so... You know... She's buried there or something. Though she would be long dead. Good God, man! Oh, you just ran over her dead body. Way to go! Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Oh man, is she gonna be okay? Is she gonna be buried dead? Is she gonna be like chained up or something? Look, this is it. This is it. Oh my god. Please no. Oh. She's I dead. Smell. Rachel. Oh. No, Rachel, no, no, please not her. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Holy! I can't I believe she's actually so dead. Much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Wow! <laughs> Is that the end of the episode? Was it? Should I not have? Uh, end of the episode? This is a stupid question to be asking. Holy! The doe! Is it Rachel? Is the doe Rachel? Oh my god, I bet the doe is actually Rachel. Wow. Is this the next on thing? Two moons, is that what I just heard? Huh, <clears throat> dad drawing though. I thought this was the next on thing, but no, I guess it is. Enjoys his last party. Oh, okay, oh, wow. We can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. What is real justice? I'm worried about you. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? Okay, never mind. I, I thought that for sure was the end of the episode. You know that. How are we going to do this? I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be two moons. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Holy! Yeah, Beautiful. I did hear two I don't moons. Give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Oh, what? Nathan Prescott is going down. Two moons. Interesting. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped Don't off. drink anything, I Chloe. I just Max, he's dangerous. You don't say! Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. I'm so anxious! Have you been drinking? <laughs> well, a little bit. If you consider half a beer drinking... Let's a little go, more Max. on that. Or he's hey, drugged. Hey. I know this is a big <coughs> time, but can I get one picture? 
I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you. I going to go for a kiss or something. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. He's going to go uh, for a kiss. Action. Okay, never mind. I thought for sure he was going to go for a kiss and the picture. Shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. <clears throat> I was always the one getting my ass kicked. I'm shaking. I'm so anxious right time. now. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? Woo! And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Here we go. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? She already in? Uh, I hate touching all these clothes. It uh, hi, Stella. Hey Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything? <coughs> uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Oh boy. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. That'd be Chloe. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reason. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you that ever makes looked sense. at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. <laughs> Money! Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. <laughs> yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. <laughs> oh man, it's so loud. It's gonna probably get much okay? louder once we um, go inside. No, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan, and don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Okay. Okay, let's go inside now. Looks like all those lists didn't even freaking matter because everyone's just getting in. Yay, it's a club! Clubs suck, you guys. They really do. Unless you like dancing, then maybe it'd be okay. But for people like me that hate dancing, clubs are stupid. <laughs> it's loud. You can't talk to anybody. The only thing you can do is dance. That's it. If you don't dance, don't go to a club, ever. Really not that many people here, actually. Who is the target? Is it me? Am I the target? Whoa! We need to find Nathan and take him down. So nice to chat up another anime team. Oh yes. I'm glad I talked to <laughs> Daniel into coming, just to see him flirt with Brooke. Daniel and Brooke flirting? Right on. <laughs> That's funny. Adorable. Yay! Malay! Oh my god, it's your actress, Have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Yeah, well. Uh, I know. I'm. I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale prey. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in <laughs> Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Maybe. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Oh, wow, almost sounds like a goodbye. Celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. I like Daniel. He's a good guy. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to I see you at a vortex. Brooke in the. 
I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. <laughs> scrub. <laughs> You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the vortex. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this week. And are you excited? Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise, and I'm invincible <laughs> this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Oh, I can't fly. Only with your drone. Uh, yeah, way, I thought Broke and the girl that was checking that us in were the same person. Earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, yep. the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks. drinks. Oh, uh, energy drinks. I know somebody has to booze. What? There's no booze on school grounds. Without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Uh, can I talk to you on dance floor here? Talk to you. The people I don't care about. I think it's really bad having all, this elect all these electronics right beside the, uh, Cool. <laughs> right, nothing over here. That's pretty cool. Like turn a pool into a party room. That's really cool. Is that a thing anywhere? I've never heard that before. Like a, a pool drink club. School days. School days. I don't. I don't know. Lucas. Whoa! Someone's got a fight. Huh. It's dangerous. Sure he's not gonna do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate? Oh wait, I did see Nathan today. Nurse in a busted face. <laughs> I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. This. Warren gave him yeah. an epic beat. Yes, he made up for brother Warren. Drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. Woo I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town or into Pan Estates. He was a tornado machine to destroy the town, so we all moved to his place. Preach it, brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Who the heck is Luke? Thanks for seeing me. No, thank you for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. School days. Uh, I don't know what that, any of that means. Bigfoot on otter action. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, it's Alyssa. No way. Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. Alyssa, are you okay? Yeah, what? Why would she be? By a water oh. Alright, let's save her life. Why can you be mad at me? I think it's here. Warner. Alyssa, incoming. I'm on it. <laughs> There's no way that one knocks him with the water. Those aren't those not heavy. Those don't have any weight to them at all. Gross teeth. I'm surprised to see anybody here considering that Kate just killed herself in front of everybody. I know. I only came because Warren was coming and I needed something else to vent about. This bird is such a tribute to Kate's spirit. Yeah. 
I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Oh, I'm sure it'll happen. Is that naive? Look at how fast people here have thought about Kate. They'll find some new black girl drama and forget about her video. So it goes. <sighs> Vortex Club. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. <laughs> Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. I always warned you. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. Yeah, tell me now, why not? Use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is why like not? poet karaoke, so don't frick. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. What? It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing. And thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for I don't know how that relates to me, but okay. But you're a great start, Matt. Yay! Can I talk to any of these noobs? Nope. Who that? No one I care about. Oh boy. Stop, stop constantly hitting him with a noodle. It's weird. It's weird, man. Oh, hello. Trust me, dude. You're not missing anything. <laughs> so not impressed by this VIP crap. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? No, because your name is on the list. Now. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Uh huh. Door. Who could possibly be in here? Oh, the bathroom. <laughs> Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Can't talk to these noobs. Feedy. Apparently, what? Blackwell Whoa, what? has a severe toilet paper That's weird. fetish. I can't, why can't I click on anything? Hello? I can never look at that graffiti. Never. Justin's just a little buzzed. Looking at a broken Yo, mirror. <laughs> maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? <laughs> Besides, Dana is here. It's all that knocking. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Rachel Amber won't be coming either. Damn, I was thinking about Rachel and Chloe tonight. Dude. If they showed up together right now, shit would end. Well, she's dead. Rachel could always shut Victoria down. Good for Rachel. I wish I could have seen that. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds <laughs> pissed off. Different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm I'm cool, Justin. I was that really curious. It was gonna give me the option to like smoke weed Maybe or something. You <laughs> chill somewhere else. Fucking a, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself. This is not how a real conversation would Plus, go. I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. <laughs> That's a great idea. Exit the Vortex Club. The tide is turning. Oh no. Not again. Oh. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Hello, pukely. Everyone having a good pee time. Kai. Good night, sweet prince. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. <laughs> or both. Oh, uh, uh. Max. Chloe must be around. Kill the Prescotts. If you don't wrap it up, we're coming in, sister. 
Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, we'll get out of here in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Chloe and I loaded up our coordinates and hit the road. We were both quiet yet excited. It's hard to explain the feeling. Even with all the horrible things happening, I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were a part of a greater mystery that involved time, space, and all of our fates. I never had much faith, not that not the Kate Marsh kind anyway, but I couldn't believe we were being set up for doom after everything that's happened this week. But I wasn't prepared for the dark room. The coordinates led us to an old abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family. I should have been surprised. I was actually housing a weird, secure bunker that was filled with Prescott memorabilia. And worse. Meh. Fish. It was Evil Ground Zero. This place was... Was it? If there was an Evil Ground Zero. Cupboards filled with name red binders that confirmed our worst nightmares. Not that I even had any clue that our amateur detective work would lead us to any kind of professional hell. When I saw the bunker binder named Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. Then I had a real clue about what was coming. I don't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh pose unconscious with that motherfucker, Nathan Prescott. She did know the truth about what happened to her, even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. And then Rachel Amber del delicately posed photographs of her drugged, and all over Nathan, like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos for her abused angel. I felt nauseated. All the hope I was feeding Chloe felt like vapor. And then we saw exactly where Nathan had taken his vicious layout with poor Rachel in the junkyard. <clears throat> we finally found Rachel Amber, dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry, William. Fuck you, Arca Arcadia B. High school should be the best years of your life. I've heard over... And over for my parents and the other experts. Fuck, fuck, do they know? Tell it to Rachel Amber. Okay. So I'm confused. Like, I thought this was like a university or a college. I'm very confused. Okay, I've never seen Chloe so cold and hard. She won't let go of the gun. Um, so we have to find Nathan before Chloe finds, kills him. And if that happens, it'll be hard to rewind. But we're as close to the end of the nightmare as possible. So I have to block out the images of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber. That will be burned into my retinas forever there's still a final secret to uncover nothing is going to stop us now not even a goddamn tornado chloe and i pulled up to blackwell's parking lot and arrived at the end of the world party oh the irony we had to get rid of poor warren fast who wanted to bask in his alpha glory and hang out with me with chloe and me i can't put another one of my friends in danger so so bizarre to see all the students dressed up in expensive outfits or pre-halloween costumes talking laughing and smoking and drinking as if there wasn't a serial killer going to the same party or or the town was in an eco danger. A curiosity. What am I? Moon outside of a bar. Outside of bars. Huh. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. In the next one, I know we're got to be getting close to the end. I feel like maybe there'll be two episodes left. Um, so yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye.